Richie Fiore talks about the legacy 1989 reunion when the original Poco got back together. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Richie Fiore has a brand new album out. It's called 50th Anniversary, Return to the Troubadour. Two CD set. The first set is Various Tune. It's called Still Deliverin'. And set two, as he plays the Poco album Deliverin' from start to finish, that one's called Deliverin' Again. Here's our second interview with former Buffalo Springfield Poco and Souther Hillman Fiore band member, Richie Fiore. Michael Potter asks... When you did the Legacy release in 89, did you get into thinking that it was going to be a full-time reunion? No. And because I was very much in, in, involved with the, the church, and I had to explain to the church, too, uh, you know, uh, around that time, you know, that, uh, no, I'm not going to get back into being in a group again. You know, um, we were, you know, I think at that time, my friend Scott Sellen and I were pretty much doing a duo, yeah. but uh, no, my heart was focused on, on pastoring the church, but you know, my, my ministry has been kind of unique in the fact that I could go out and get together, join up with my old friends, take a moment in time here, play some music and then bingo, you know, I, I'm back. And, and, and I, I had to actually prove maybe to, um, as our church had evolved a little bit, you know, that they could come out and they could see, um, you know, when, when my, when my band, which was pretty much the church worship band, basically, you know, when we would go out and play, you know, they, they, they would see that, you know, Hey, look, we 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 honor the Lord. We, we don't proselytize, but we honor the Lord. And, uh, and so it was good to get them on board as well, but no, there was no thoughts about, okay, I'm going to get back into that routine. I I'm just, it wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Matt Isaacs asks, uh, what's your favorite memories of uh, the legacy album and tour? The legacy album and tour, you know, that whole tour was kind of difficult and it was difficult because um, I, I had felt at one point in time that I had been boxed into a corner. Um, you know, when we got together, I let the guys all know that, uh, hey, I'm a pastor of a church. There's some things that I would certainly hope we wouldn't say on stage or do on stage that would be offensive to, to, to that. And, you know, I think pretty much there was, there was respect that was reciprocated on, on both sides. Uh, but at the, before we ever hit the road, uh, you know, there were some things that had to be sorted out and we had to talk through. But you know what? We were able to talk through them. And for the most part, it worked out OK. But obviously, you know, it was one of those times, too, John, when I was um, I couldn't be away from the church for a long amount of time. And so that's why I didn't actually stay on. Uh, for the rest of the, for the rest of the, of the we, there, there were a couple tours that were set up. Now, now there were some difficulties with, with the guys, you know, as I was doing that, but you know, that's just life and that's how it goes down. <laughs> mm -hmm. 